Hey guys, good afternoon, happy Wednesday. So I am back with a brand new recipe and one that I really think you're gonna enjoy, especially because it's a summer vacation time. If you're traveling and you're watching this, then hi. Um, and if you're at home at lunch or having some coffee or tea, this is probably the recipe you're gonna wanna munch on, okay? So I love to travel personally. I mean, as a chef, I feel like that's where I get all my inspiration from. And now more than ever, I'm just ready to jet. Uh, I went to Mexico a while ago, but one thing that really stuck out when I went was corn over there. I absolutely loved enjoying um, corn on the streets. They would basically um, char it on an open flame and then rub it with like lime and red chili powder and um, sometimes put some Mexican cheese on there as well. And ironically, I'm Indian, and when I go to India, it's the same thing. They sell this amazing street corn that's rubbed with lime and salt and sell it on the street. So that inspired me for today's recipe. Hi guys, hi everybody, good morning. Well, good afternoon, sorry. Um, back to the recipe inspiration. So that inspired me for this amazing recipe today. It's a street corn and peach salad, salsa, however you enjoy it. And we are using the Power XL air fryer grill. This thing is amazing. I mean, you could legit just not turn on your oven ever in the summer or any other air fryer and use this one. We're actually gonna be air frying some corn so it's getting nice and crispy. Then we're gonna take peach, which is my favorite summer um, fruit, mm, kind of tied with watermelon, with my watermelon popsicle recipe, right? Um, and then we're gonna just put some a little bit of Mexican cheese and some mayo and lime juice. Okay, so let's get this party started. But before that, I just want to recognize everybody here. Michelle, how are you? Debbie, how are you? Jennifer, how are you? Um, if you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to put that in the comments. And if I don't get to it, um, I definitely will. And if you're watching this on replay, then you wanna make sure that you hashtag replay so I can get to you there as well. So let's get this party started. I have the, um, again, the Power XL air fryer grill. When you use this, you're using 70% less calories than you would if you were to deep fry, just saying, okay? It's like a convection kind of concept where the air is circulating at all times, so everything is getting nice and crispy, okay? So that's, that's really important. Let me grab my ingredients right now. And I have a quick little hack to show you on how to cut corn off the cob. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut the corn off the cob. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer and I'm sh gonna show you what's setting. After that's cooking and done, I'm gonna chop up some peaches, some cilantro and put it all together. So this is my hack. Get a kitchen towel. I hope you're writing notes. Get a kitchen towel, get your corn, and you actually are gonna cut it on the kitchen towel so the corn doesn't jump everywhere, okay? So it actually stays on the towel versus the cutting board, and then you pick up the kitchen towel and this kind of just shake it off on your tray. I hope this makes sense because when you cut corn on the cutting board, um, it jumps everywhere. But when you cut it on the kitchen towel, it stays put. Look at this, isn't that amazing? It's just so clean and it's an easy way to cut corn. So this is a quick little chef hack right there. That's it. A chef knife, a sharp knife goes a long way. And then you basically pick this up. Let me just grab a bowl right now. Um, you pick this up. It's so clean. There's no corn anywhere. And you shake it out and you put it in. Oh, well, obviously it's a bit bad job transferring right now. I, two corns fell out kernels and that's it. That's a really easy hack. So don't forget that one, okay? And then what we're gonna do, the Magica TV, give me one quick second here, is I'm gonna take out my corn that was already air fried. A little hot, so watch out. And I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do. Michelle, this sounds amazing. You love corn. I know, so do I, so do I. Okay, so that's corn that was air fried before. Let me just quickly show you how we are going to air fry this with basically no oil, okay? I have parchment paper. You wanna make sure that it's not very large, kinda cut very small so it doesn't touch the top of your air fryer grill. 
Then you wanna put your corn right on top of the parchment paper, okay? And then you wanna take very, very little cooking spray. Very little cooking spray, just like that. And we, that's it. We're gonna put this, we are gonna put this, and we make sure that I have the paper not going all over the place. My appliance is off right now, okay? We're gonna put this right in there, just like that. We're gonna put it on setting of the air fryer. We're gonna put it on 400 degrees, and we're gonna put it on for 10 minutes, okay? And what this is gonna do, it's gonna get this corn very crispy, just like this. Look at this, this, oh, this smells like popcorn. Just saying, it smells like popcorn. Okay, once the, the corn is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my peaches, because we've got peaches in there, we've got cilantro in there, we've got some mayonnaise or Greek yogurt, some Mexican cheese like cotija or feta, if you can't find that, and then a little bit of lime juice. So let's get this party started, which is kind of happening right now. I'm thinking you make the peach spritzer that we did a couple of lives ago, okay? And I'm also thinking for dessert, you can make the watermelon popsicle. And that, my friends, is a very fun summery party. Uh, Michelle, you, oh yeah, sorry, you said that sounds amazing. Thank you. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut your peaches into small cubes. Whenever you're chopping, you guys know I'm a stickler for knife skills. You wanna make sure you're always curling in your fingers like a bear claw, right? Because if your knife has to touch um, your fingers, your hand, it's your knuckles, but not your fingers, if that makes sense. Okay, and don't copy me. Do not copy me because I've been chopping for a really long time. So I can chop even when <laughs> I'm not looking down. <laughs> I tell my students that in all my cooking classes, please focus on what you're chopping. So peaches skin on, just a medium dice. Okay, a medium dice. And if you don't like peaches, I've done this with strawberry and the strawberry corn combination is great too. I just feel like peaches and corn kind of, um, um, kind of work together. Um, Michelle says she thinks that the, the parchment paper, you know, Michelle, it's not because it's not really touching up there. What you wanna do, and which I didn't talk about before, is you wanna make sure that you actually crumble up, which I did, your parchment paper. That's a fail safe way as a chef that I do all the time in the oven so it doesn't touch the top of it. Okay, so it's not really touching the top, and if, of course, if you get nervous, you can go in and push that down, but it's really far from the top of the um, unit. Okay, so a little quick tip. Michelle, I don't know if you, um, if you knew that, but you can crumble up parchment paper, even though you know it comes out on the side a little bit, and that helps it kind of keep it stay down, okay? Again, take a little bit of a better look if you want, which looks good, and that looks great, because I tested this recipe many times for you guys. Okay, so here is the peach and the corn right there. And I'm gonna put a teaspoon of red chili powder. This is what the recipe says. I made this yesterday for friends and they loved it. They loved it, they loved it, they loved it. Then to this, I'm going to add some lime juice. A little bit of lime juice. I'm gonna add my Mexican cheese. Okay. Perfect. A little bit of mayo or Greek yogurt, all up to you. And let me get my cilantro. And you're just gonna chop up a couple of tablespoons of cilantro. Easy peasy how good this looks and I haven't even mixed it yet and some salt okay salt and black pepper I like this as a salad but you're more than welcome to serve this with tortilla chips okay mix 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 really well let me just get a napkin right there okay so I want to talk to you about a couple of things about the power Excel air fryer grill every part that comes with this 
I mean, most parts of the, the basket, obviously not the drip pan, but the basket, the pizza pan, a couple of other ones, they're all dishwasher safe, okay? So you don't like need to be spending hours in the kitchen when you want to make delicious food, okay? That I, I think that dishwasher safe part is really important. And I absolutely love that there's so many features from grilling and there's a grill pan that comes with this that I used the other day. I think I made, uh, oh, I made grilled potatoes and they were amazing. Um, air fry, reheat. So if you're like me and you don't have a microwave, this is your best friend. Okay, I just wanted to point out a couple of my favorite settings. I mix this really well. Look at that, that looks delicious. I'm gonna get a little closer but before I do, I just wanna taste this with my spoon. Mmm. The corn is crunchy because it's air fried. The peach is sweet, not too ripe. That's one thing I do want to say. For salsas or salads, you don't really want to use super ripe peaches, okay? The creaminess of the mayo or the Greek yogurt and the saltiness of that Mexican cheese. Hold up. Let me come a little closer. Look at this. This piled really high with some tortilla chips is gonna be such a party pleaser, okay? Such a party pleaser. So what I did, let me just get a plate right now. So what I did is I took the corn off the cob and I air fried it at 400 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. So I took the corn off the cob, hit it with a little bit of cooking spray, okay? And I, um, I basically put it in the air fryer grill for eight to 10 minutes. Okay, focusing here to get a really nice pile on <laughs> of my um, salsa slash salad. A couple of crackers, because we don't do a lot of chips here. I like to be a little on the healthier side. And here we go, this is it. This is definitely like a party for one, just saying. Okay, do you guys have any questions? Um, Michelle, I think I need that for dinner. Michelle, I'm gonna private message you right here on Facebook and I'm gonna send you my address. Dinner tonight is at 6.30. I'm doing tacos. I'm doing the salsa. I'm doing grilled asparagus tonight and um, a little bit tonight, yeah enjoy making this recipe with the power excel air fryer grill if you want to purchase it the information is in the comments so don't forget to check that out and i will see you guys next wednesday you guys see you guys soon bye